said, if thou believest, thou mayest. Yes. And so you're going to hear me ask Wendy a question, very important question. And uh, then based on her profession of faith, I, as the pastor of the church, will baptize her. Nothing magic in me, nothing magic in the water. Uh, what's magic is Jesus. Amen? Amen. Amen. And so we're here tonight. Now let me ask, let me tell you one other thing. For those of you watching by television and listening on the radio and for those in the sanctuary, when you witness a baptismal service, you are committing to God to make this dear sister your yes. sister in Christ. Yes. That means you will pray for her. That means you will be there for her. And that means yes. you're committing that not just to her, but to Almighty God. God. So without further ado, Wendy, are you coming tonight because you know you've already invited Jesus into your heart and into your life? Well, then based on your profession of faith in Christ Jesus, I baptize you, my sister. years ago, when they came to me, they came here and said they wanted to come and worship with us every first Sunday. And I said, well, what's, your, what's the name of your group? This young man here said, we don't have a name. It was actually a different guy, but. <laughs> I said, well, okay, we'll call y'all sent, because we know they are sent by God. Amen. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Father, we do lift our voices to you, our thanksgiving, thanking you for that salvation we have through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We pray, in, Lord, that if there's anyone here that does not know your saving grace within, within this hour, Lord, they will come to know who you are and form their own relationship with you. We pray, Father, that you would put your hands upon these young men and women that are here to worship you in song, Lord. Lift them up. Protect them, Lord, as they travel, Lord. Be with them. In their, in their comings and their goings. Bless each individual here, those less fortunate than we are. All these things we pray for in the name of Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. 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 Thank you. Um, actually, can I get the number, number five raised a little bit? Thank you. Well, first of all, I'd like to welcome everybody. And it's just always a pleasure to come and worship with you guys here. Yes, amen. Well, quick introduction of all of us. This is our group called Scent, named by you guys here at the church. And starting from the singer to the right, or to the left of you guys, so it's John on the mic. There's also a newcomer. Her name is Violet. She's just starting out, so just please give her encouragement. And just, she's starting out, so let's give her a little warm welcome. Thank you. And this is Jasmine. And I am Josh, the praise leader. Hello. And this is my sister, Lillian, on the piano. And that is Jonathan on the drums. Yes, and we are, thank you. And it's just always, like I said before, it's always just an honor and a privilege to just come and worship with you guys here. And uh, at our church, we always start off with a time of prayer where we just prepare our hearts for worship, that it is just ready to worship God, that it is not distracted by anything else, not distracted by our troubles, all our worries, or our just worldly things, but just have God in our hearts. So let us just take this time, a minute or so, to just pray for ourselves and pray that our hearts are ready to worship God, that our hearts are just focused upon God, and our hearts may just sing out to Him with everything we have. So let us open up in prayer, and I will I'll pray for us, and we will begin.
Uh, dear Lord, Lord, thank you so much, Lord, that you have brought every single one of us here to this church, Lord, to your house, Lord. And Lord, I pray that at this very moment, Lord, that you may fill our hearts and our, and our spirit, Lord, that you will just fill us up with your Holy Spirit, Lord, that, Lord, that this worship we are doing right now, that, Lord, this, just, the, just being in your house, Lord, should just be such an honor for us, Lord, that we should be so grateful that, Lord, you have given us this opportunity, Lord, just to come and worship you, Lord. And, Lord, I want to thank you so much, Lord, for my brothers and sisters, Lord. Lord, for my new sister, Lord, today that has been baptized, Lord. Just thank you so much, Lord. That, Lord, you are working through every single one of us here, Lord, to bring your people to you, Lord. And, Lord, I pray this time of worship, Lord, may just be a time of singing and just happiness, Lord, that we are just singing out to our Heavenly Father, Lord. We are singing out to the one true and living God, Lord. I just want to thank you so much for that. And Lord, I pray that you will be with us as we sing out to you, Lord, as we hold nothing back and sing to the one and only God, Lord. I pray that you will be with us with every word we sing, Lord. May you just let us just put everything we have to it, Lord. That, Lord, every note we play, every word we sing, Lord, may just be a sweet sound to your ear, Lord. And Lord, I just want to thank you once again, and I pray that you will be with us from the start of the worship, Lord, to the end of the worship, Lord. I just want to thank you once again, and just going to pray. Amen. And now, if everyone could rise. One thing I forgot to do is, if everyone could get up, kind of greet each other, say hello, how you doing? Hello. It's just great to be here. Yes. And let us slowly work back to our seats. And if you can, be, please stay standing for all of our songs. Okay, and our first song is called All in All. We're going to begin with the part, Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy is your name. Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy.
interrupt you one more time. We're going to go now and do our call to fall. For those of you that may or may not know about the call to fall project, it's a project that was started in Washington, D.C., and the website is C-A-L-L -L and the number 2 and F-A-L-L, -L, call to fall. There's about a million five hundred thousand people that have signed up. You're seeing a group of them here. At every service, we do the call to fall. And I don't know if he can put that up for me or not, but uh, I think I can remember most of it at least. What we do is I want you to turn to somebody and say hello, and I'm glad you're in church. Amen. Can you put the call to fall up? No? Okay. That's okay. All right. Now, if you're not on your knees, we would invite you to join us on our, on our knees. And then repeat after me, if you would, please. If you'd like to pray this prayer with me, you can pray it out loud, or you can pray it silently, or just agree, whatever the Lord lays on your heart. Here's what we do. I will answer, I will answer. God's call to fall. On my, on my knees, in humility, in humility. And, repentance. and repentance, and he will hear my prayer, hear my prayer. Forgive, my sin, forgive my sin, and cleanse our nation. Cleanse our nation. In Jesus' name, in Jesus name. Amen, and amen and amen. That is the Call to Fall Project. Look it up on Call 2, the number 2, and F-A-L-L. -L. And you will find out that even though we in California are the land of the fruits and nuts and shake and bake, California leads the nation in the number of people signed up for the call of all. All right. I'm going to give this thing back before something blows up. Back to our songs. <laughs> Woo, everyone, everyone can rise again. Yes, the next song is called Who Am I? Sing, look on me with love. 
stormy wind, not because of who I am, not because of what you've done, not because of what I've done, but because of who you are. Today and God tomorrow, a wave tossed in the ocean, a vapor in the wind. Still, you hear me when I'm calling. Lord, you catch me when I'm falling, and you tell me who I am.
good and the love like a rose trampled on the ground. You took the fall. You thought of me above all. Like a rose trampled on the the fall. You thought of me above all. time. Like a rose trampled on the ground. You took the fall. You thought of me above all. Give out to God. Thank you, Lord. Um, dear Lord, Lord, you were crucified, Lord. Lord, you died on the cross for me, Lord. You died on the cross for us, Lord. And Lord, I just want to thank you so much for that, Lord. Lord, you are so good, Lord. You are so great, gracious, Lord. Lord, we cannot just show how grateful we are, Lord. We cannot show how thankful we are, Lord. The least we can do is just sing out your praises, glorify your name, Lord, and just show how much we love you by just, just showing, just singing out to you, Lord. Just proclaiming your name, Lord. Lord, just telling everyone around us about you, Lord. Lord, we are, we are so grateful, Lord, that you were crucified, Lord. You were died on the cross for us, Lord. Thank you so much, Lord. Lord, you are... So, we cannot just proclaim, Lord. We cannot express how grateful we are. And Lord, at this time, Lord, I pray that we will just be just refreshed, Lord. We will be fed the daily bread we need, Lord. As the pastor comes up to just deliver his message, Lord. Deliver your message, Lord. Lord, I pray that you be with him. And every word he says, Lord, that it may just be the food we need, Lord. The daily bread we need, Lord. Coming from you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. And I pray that our ears may be opened, our hearts may be opened, Lord, and our minds may be opened, Lord, so that ear, our ears may just be listening with everything we have, and our hearts may just be opened to just, just accept what you are trying to teach us, Lord. And Lord, our minds may be opened, that we may think about it, we may just ponder about it, Lord, we may just, just learn more about it, Lord. And I just pray that you'll be with us. I pray that your Holy Spirit may be filling us, Lord. And I just pray that I just want to thank you once again, and just pray. Amen. Amen, amen. Thank you, sent, S-E-N-T, sent. They have been sent. Our folks here had a part in that name, but they've been sent by the Holy Ghost. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost has sent them to us, and we praise the Lord for that opportunity. They've sent them here to lead us in worship. They've sent them here to pray with us and pray for us. They've also sent them here to feed us. So after the service, we'll have a meal together, and we thank the Lord for that. I want to share with you just two or three things that are going on. Some of you know I just...